Tom in Dearborn, Michigan writes to me, Hey Paul, I've been watching your Ask Paul series for several years now. Thank you, sir. And while I may not always agree with you, say what? <laughs> say what? You don't agree with me? Good. Thank you. I hope everybody doesn't agree with me. <laughs> I, can just, I just share what I got for knowledge and you can take it or leave it. It's just based on my experience and doing this for a long, long time. So I'm glad everybody doesn't agree with me. Um, I have learned a lot, regardless of that, <laughs> about the audiophile world and how, uh, it, how to listen to music. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. A few months ago, I was over at a, fellow's audiophile, a fellow audiophile's house that had a very good turntable, tone arm, and cartridge. The cartridge cost almost as much as my entire system. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, uh, along with that, he had an audio research deck. I had a copy of the Telarc Frederick Fennell and the Cleveland Orchestra LP. Good stuff. That's a reference recording? No, Telarc. He just said Telarc. Huh, I remember that being written. Oh, anyway, uh, and its companion CD. I was shocked when both formats sounded almost identical. The digital one possibly sounding slightly better. There were small differences, but it was essentially impossible to tell which was providing a better representation of the original music. This was a first for me, since I have always been able to identify whether it was an LP or a CD within a few notes. Where is this magic coming from? You have said a number of times that just upsampling the data can't add anything, but apparently there is far more data buried in the original data that meets the eye or ear. What is going on? <laughs> Great question. Let's look at this a little differently. You know, that last sentence kind of got to me, that there is far more in there. How, how, how did he phrase that? Let's see. You have said a number of times that just up sampling, yep. But apparently there is more data buried in the original data. Mm -hmm. Or is there? I think we're pulling out all the data we ever had. And let's imagine that we're all listening just to CDs. And we're not going to use upsampling. We're not going to talk about, like, at Octave Records, we use the SACD for DSD and the higher sample rates, which do sound better, for sure, despite, I'm not going to name names. I always get in trouble doing that. But let's just stay with CDs, okay? I don't think there's any more information buried in a CD that we have not uncovered, even though it sounds like it. And the reason I say that is because in my experience, older DACs, transports, cables, the whole nine yards that we use for digital audio was burying, was misrepresenting what is there. And that's been the problem. As it's, it's, you've heard the expression pulling a thousand veils off of the music. That's maybe a good way of putting it. It's like all that's ever been there is still there. We're picking up it all, but it can get so buried and so clouded by digital artifacts, the brightness of a digital uh, presentation of a bad DAC, the um, TIM, the transient intermodulation distortion, the, the lousy rise times, the, the uh, I mean, just on and a digital noise, jitter, all of this stuff. The data is the same, but the presentation of that data has gotten so good, so, so good with a modern DAC that as he is surprised to have found out, it now not only rivals LP, it's better. You come up to our system and listen to it, which I would encourage you to do, and you'll hear what I'm talking about. Modern digital audio is so, so good, just on CDs. Now, high resolution's better, yes, but CDs, because of all the improvements that we have done, and I like to think of it 
not as pulling more out of the music, but clouding it up less so that we can, like cleaning your windshield, right? You're, you're driving along through the rain and the snow and you can't see crap. And, and all the data is there. Clean your windshield. Aha. Light, bright, clear. It's like that. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning the windshield on our DAX and digital audio. So hope that helps. Okay. <laughs> and thanks for not agreeing with me on everything. <laughs> That'd be a scary prospect. <laughs> Take it easy. All right. Bye. Thank you.